And with the mayoral primary less than a month away now, incumbent Mayor Brandon Scott is touting a reduction in homicides and non-fatal shootings and boosting the success of his squeegee collaborative. But just how effective has it really been? Fox 55's Vincent Hill joins us live with a closer look at those numbers. And Vince, what are you learning tonight? Yeah, well, Maxine, with over 3,100 plus calls about squeegee kids, the number of warnings and citations barely in the double digits. Two years after Timothy Reynolds was shot and killed at the corner of Light and Conway by a 15-year-old squeegee kid. Nobody ever thought that we would get off the corners and now they're gone. The mayor claiming the problem with squeegee kids is now gone thanks to his squeegee collaborative. But at the same corner, Reynolds was killed this past Sunday. Yes, sir. Can you head over to the disorderly outside 414 Light Street, calling the center reference to five males squeegeeing at the location? One of the hundreds of calls about squeegee kids to Baltimore police. According to the latest Squeegee Collaborative report, the report also shows BPD has not issued any citations and only 61 warnings. I'm a little taken aback. Local restaurant owner Gia Blatterman surprised by the limited enforcement of the collaborative. So that's a progression of the crime. It's not, it's not a progression of uh, we're going to get this individual educated and into a job. Of the over 3,100 calls about squeegee kids, 98.3 of them ended with no warnings. It's not jiving with residents because what we feel and what we see on a regular basis is not the same as the numbers that we're being told. Euripsy Morgan of the group Peace says the numbers aren't adding up. Especially over the last two years where we've been told numerous times, you know, ignore the numbers, ignore the reality of what people feel, um, listen to what we're telling you. Morgan says the mayor's plan doesn't align with his previous views on squeegee kids. At one point, you know, he argued that they had a constitutional right um, to be out there. The Supreme Court says this panhandling is protected by the Constitution. You can't argue with the Supreme Court, right? So that's the reality. Calling in the question the mayor's desire to truly enforce it. I expect that these numbers are going to continue to rise in terms of calls being made. Um, and the question really is how this administration plans on handling it for at least the next year um, and whether it's just going to be a lot more of the same. Now, that report also says violent encounters involving squeegee kids is down 85 percent. But just last month, two squeegee kids were arrested for robbing a man and stealing cash app from his phone. For now, we're live in Baltimore. Vincent Hill, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.